What's the worst Christmas gift you have received? My grandma had 17 grandchildren and she always bought socks for them for Christmas. No one minded and we all knew that she would send socks every time except one year. My youngest brother was crossing the road in our neighborhood and a drunk woman came barreling around the corner going 50 on a 20 miles per hour zone. She hit him, carried him into the guide wire on a telephone pole and it cut off both his legs above the knee. He recovered and went on to live a good life. However my grand for 13 years until she died. I was gifted a 103 pound fireproof safe that was dropped and shipped to my small apartment without my knowledge. The electronic keypad was faulty right out of the box and would only repeatedly emit a beeping noise instead of allowing the pin to be saved. It was purchased through Costco and for their policy needed to be returned to one of their locations in person. It was too large to fit in my car and not valuable enough to justify renting a truck to transport it. The realization on the cake was when I pulled the keypad away from the door to try different batteries I accidentally pulled too far in. The wire passing through the door to the unlocking solenoid disconnected, leaving the door permanently locked with no mechanical backup or failsafe. I got alcohol and I'm a recovering alcoholic. No one laughed when I opened the gift. My mom gave me a car crash kit. It had a disposable camera for recording the scene, a form for both parties to fill out, a tape measure for measuring, I don't know stuff, and some chalk for what I assume was for marking out where the dead bodies landed or something. The year I gave my ex-husband a tag Hoya watch, he gave me a $19.99 Walmart blender. We already had three blenders. My mom got me muffin top control panties for Christmas one year for me around puberty. I was given this book that was basically how to be a man. It was filled with advice on etiquette, like opening doors for women walking on the side of the sidewalk closest to the street, and a bunch of really outdated, patriarchal 1950s codswallop. 